So 2K dropped the patch yesterday on Current Jam, man, and while we have absolutely no patch notes, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is, man. What I'm going to have to do is rely on you guys, the community, to let us know what happened in the patch. Do you see any changes? Are there any changes to steals? Are there any changes to whites going in and not going in? Are passing lane steals, have they been taken care of? Are the stability issues uh, ironed out? Is, is paint defense fixed? Is any of the things that we've been talking about, has that been addressed in that patch? I have no way of knowing because, yet again, we got no pats, no. So, you know, it is what it is. But I tell you what we do have. We do have a contest that is going on on this channel all month, every month. And all you have to do in order to get involved is this. Comment on the video uh, and like the video. And you'll be entered automatically to win a $50 gift card on tomorrow. So it's going to be $50 in, in cash app or I'll buy you 2K, the extra regular S edition, or I'll, um, or you know, I'll buy you some VC, whatever it is, fifty dollars worth of that. And then at the end of the month, if we can average 10K views, we're gonna be giving away a next gen console. Now we are on 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 pace to do that, so y'all just keep doing what y'all doing, keep liking the videos, keep coming down below, and keep supporting us. And today's word of the day, what's the word of the day, Bridget? Jump shot. Jump shot. What? Jump shot. All right, put jump shot at the end of your comment down in the comment section, man. And you'll be automatically entered in order, <laughs> order uh, uh, enter to win, uh, you know, one of those contests, man. Either fifty dollars at the end of the week, no matter what happens, or a next gen console at the end of the month if we can continue to uh, average these views. And with all that out of the way, yes, sir. Or should I say, good morning out there, in Two K Land, man. Check it out, bro. Y'all already know what the narrative of the week is. That's how we doing this thing from now on. Uh, yesterday, Chris Move dropped the video. And he was talking about him getting plucked. We showed that uh, he got plucked twice that game, more or less. And uh, we see those two plucks. But the boy Kai says, so if a ball handler has 99 ball handler, Hall of Fame unpluckable, uh, and you have bronze glove at 85. You don't have bronze glove at 85, Kai. I'm sorry you get you get, uh, you get get silver uh, at 85. But I, I, get, I understand what you're trying to say. And you're tearing it off him every play. Does that fit the I have a 99 steal? Um... I should steal it agenda. NBA players don't even average over two steals playing 48 minutes. And uh, you know, um I I I I I don't I don't even understand what he's trying to say with that. Are you are, are, bro, who got 99 dribbling and is getting ripped by somebody with an 85 every time? I don't see it. I don't even hardly see that. And then uh hey, Raphael, he came back and said, hey, same way that they don't score on every single possession in the NBA. For me, I don't uh I don't know if if you agree if you agree is trying to delete OP animate what are you trying to say? Okay, I don't know if you agree. It's trying to delete OP uh animations, uh plucks and steals nowhere makes no sense. Same same uh with phase and teleports animations uh you know won't happen but we know. Bro, I don't understand what he was trying to say in that one. But anyway, he did have a great point in the beginning where he's just saying, look, look, same way. Everything in the game is exaggerated. Same way people don't dunk every play. You don't dunk every play in the NBA. If Even if you dunk one time, you're probably going to come back and lay it up the next two or three times because you got in, energy issues. I don't understand what Kyle trying to say in that one right there. But I don't see anybody, um, I don't see anybody getting ripped that's got 99 and Hall of Fame unpluckable uh, with, uh, by somebody with an 85. Conversely, if you want to compare it to the NBA, people in the NBA, they do not dribble in people's faces and they certainly don't routinely dribble into other people's bodies or into that danger zone. People in the NBA are always here with it. They got their, they, if they're dribbling here, if they sizing you up, you better be, you better be sure that they're outside of your, outside of your arm length or whatever it is, and you better be sure that if you make an advance toward them, they're gonna turn and try to do something or keep the ball away from you or what have you like that. So, like I said, I, I don't, even though I do not agree, I, even though I agree with y'all that having glove is not should not be a license to just press the button and get a steal, I also agree that having a high ball handling is not a license to just be reckless with the basketball, and that, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. So, I don't want y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Up next, we got, uh, we got Solo, and he just says, I think Unpuckable needs to buff in NBA 2K23. And, uh, you know, he says, no, make a player with 95-plus handles and Hall of Fame <laughs> Unpluckable. And then uh, somebody else says, maybe maybe for uh, maybe the shorter bills like 6'5 and below, yes, but I understand Unpluckable. Unpluckable 
all in all will make taller be yeah uh, yeah i see what you said but understand that unplugable all in all make taller be a strong guess he's saying that buffing it all in all make taller be a stronger that needs to be balanced six eights and six nines should get ripped way more especially with 99 hall of fame glove look bro i never why do, why is it that every time somebody makes these arguments they never take into account positioning Stamp, well, Chris Moore took, took into account uh, stamina, but he didn't take into account positioning. But they never take into account positioning, the move that you're doing, and the vulnerability of the ball. It's just, I got ripped. It's never like, and at the same time, when somebody's stealing the ball, they always just break it down to the X button. They never say, they just say, I should get the steal. They never say, I'm in the right position. I timed it properly. I'm on the ball. Everything is looking good. And I said, we never take that into account. We always just go by ratings. It's not just ratings. The ratings, I, like I said, I wish they had a thing about of your head where you can see how the ratings fluctuate depending on what you do if you make this move or that move guess what your ratings fluctuate so now your ball handling might have been 99 when you're here with it or when you in protect ball or what have you but when you do a hop back or you're getting ready to do a certain crossover or whatever it may go down to 45 because the vulnerability of the ball is there i really wish that they would bring back that thing with the broken um what was it 2k 20 or 19 where they had the broken the broken uh outline under you when you were vulnerable so you knew that when you were vulnerable so you could try to protect the ball a little bit more but you know it is what it is um y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section up next he said the community said need to stop blaming not need to stop blaming steals defense is iq reading your opponent's tendencies how about blame the passer um, you know, iq i mean with poor iq passer which is a pandemic in the wreck and more or less you just see right here you know, he makes the pass. Uh, he's going to make the first pass. Hold on. Let me, should we make it big? We're going to make it be big. We're going to make it. We're going to make it be big. So check it out. Boom. Coming down court, throws the pass. Dude doesn't do nothing. He gets the ball stripped or what have you. All right. He gets it back, comes back, and then boom. He tries to throw this pass to him again. And guess what? He's on it, and he steals it. Now, I understand a lot of people like, if I do that, when I throw that, as soon as I, as soon as I throw this pass, I'm like, damn. Cause I already know it's gone. This is a poor pass anyway. I ain't got my telestrator out right here, man. But this is a poor pass anyway. Why would you even make this pass with two people over there bearing down and you got one guy wide open right here and you could probably hit him because he's gonna come here. Like I said, I don't, I don't understand it, man. But hey, yo, that's, a, that's one of the moments where we sit there and yell like, come on 2K, come on 2K. And then uh, you got the guy, we got the guy Durag Dizzy saying, or Durag Drizzy, he said, make this go viral. Uh, with an 85 steal, I should not be doing this. Hey, we just gonna go through it right quick, man. Like, I understand what he's saying that he should not. He's gonna get three steals in a row. But one thing we don't know is we don't know what his steal rating is. We don't know what these ball handlers, these guys ball. These guys look big and slow. And he's probably in 92 and under rec. And they probably don't have any type of real dribbling or anything because I'm not seeing them do any real dribble moves. Uh, and I mean, like I said, look, look out. I mean, I, I can't tell, and he's got that, he, do, he does that, and you got your badge, bro, so I don't know, uh, should you get the ball stolen three times in a row like that, or should you be able to do that, who knows, I I don't know what glove he got on, I don't. we don't know, because you can cap about badges this year, but getting three steals in a row, it is OD, but how often does this happen? I would feel like it doesn't happen too, too often because if it did happen more often than this, we would see this highlight. You know, he'll be dropping highlights every day saying that you're the best defender on the planet and all this stuff like this. But as it stands, we see that happen one time and I mean, you up 20, bro. Like them dudes ain't good, bro. Like it's not like you're playing anybody that's, that's tough. Like, them dudes ain't good. So, I, I get what you're saying, though, but just because they're not good, you shouldn't be able to steal the ball from them and all of that good stuff. I ain't see no ball protection right there. But, yeah, I guess it is OD. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is that OD? Or if you're up 20, are you probably up 20, 24 reason? Hold on, let me go back and look at that one more time, bro. Because if I'm looking at this correctly, let me see. All right, I got I to gotta wait until they show the... Uh, Throw the stats because you know they gotta they gotta what happens before that so he don't got no steals before that or he had, yeah he, he got no steals before that and you in the fourth quarter so you get your first steal in the fourth quarter and i don't even is that a bot that's not a bot is it nope that's a real person but you see how slow that crossover is man that's your first steal right there and then so you get three steals in a row so three steals over the course of the game i mean it, it is what it is like you wasn't even doing that against the bomb so i'm just looking at it rationally man but 
Is it OD? Yes, because that's in all of that happens in one clip. But how often does that happen? I mean, I, I showed y'all in the other video when I had 85 overall. I had my 85 overall uh, glove, and then we was in the 92 and under wreck. And almost every time I hit the button, I was getting the steal, getting the steal, getting the steal. Next five games, I didn't have any steals. So saying that it's shit, like acting like things don't happen like that anomalistically, they do happen. You're gonna have anomalies where you're gonna where that's going to happen, and everything's gonna line up. The stars gonna line, the moon gonna line, and you're gonna get those steals. But how often does it happen? I would wager that it doesn't happen very often. Because if it did, like I said, you'll be telling yourself as the greatest of all time. Uh, and, and you know what I'm saying, people, you'll be able to drop them joints every day. But, hey, the boy Chris Smooth, he came back, man, and he just said, listen, bro, uh, is this guy protecting the ball or not? Talk to me about the steal system. Now, this is the side that I was talking about yesterday, and we're going to blow this up, and we're going to let y'all see it. This is the side I was talking about yesterday that nobody shows where far more often you can't steal the ball than when you can. Should he get the steal right here? In my opinion, I think yes. I think that I think that right here he's in good position. He bumped him right there. Right here I would have reached. I don't know when he reached though. But right here, this is when I would have reached after I got a good bump. It looks like you let him recover. Now, if you don't know, when your when your player drops his head like that, this is also a good time to reach. But he didn't reach right there. Now he dribbles into him, and now he reaches and he gets the foul. Like like, I understand the frustration of this where it feels like I'm getting ripped, but these other people aren't getting getting punished and getting ripped when they're making egregious mistakes with the ball. But this is the flip side of it, and this is the reality of the, right, reality of the situation. This is going to become the norm if they make changes. It's like, it's all like, it's already crazy how it is. And if you feel like, oh, I got the wrong, I got it, I got it all the way up, my bad. If you, it's already crazy how it is, and this happens much more often then people get in the steal. You get protected by your, you get bailed out by your unpluckable, you get bailed out by the ratings, you get bailed out by that. Like I said, you might, that guy got those steals on Chris Smooth the other day. Man, he probably had to hit the button like 10 times, probably had drew three fouls or something like that. And then he gets two steals at the end of the game. You can't really, yeah, I don't know, man. Like I said, that happens much more often than, than people getting the steal. But if they make changes to the steals and, and tone them down, this is what's going to happen. You're never going to be able to get a steal. And you're going to be out here like, like that boy in Pectual, where you're just going to be right here playing great defense. Great defense. Great defense. We're just going to blow it up real quick. You're going to be out here playing great defense. Great defense. Great defense. And guess what? You're going to be completely at the mercy of the guy dribbling the ball. And then this is gonna happen right here. You're gonna go down here, and he probably ain't got no interior, nothing like that. I don't, I guess he don't have any interior. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna give you a tip, a quick pro tip. Right here, if you just stand there and put your hands up, he's not scoring that. If you got any type of interior, he might not have, I don't know if he got interior or not, but you got any type of interior, he's not scoring that. But at the same time, he might score it because that might be the 10% chance where he's gonna score it. So you know it is what it is. Up next, we got the boy, Power DF, man. He's, he's saying, Random questions. Let's say I brought back DF and recruited you. What uh, what would your name be? Pretty much he's talking about he want to bring back DF. He did do one of those uh, joints, uh, one of the Let's Talks. And more or less, I'm just going to paraphrase this for the sake of time. He was just saying, if I bring back DF, we probably listen to the whole thing tomorrow, but uh, he said, if I bring back DF, what do you guys think? Because I feel like DF is one of those clans where that was really, really dead set on helping people grow, helping people come up, and you know, driving uh, content and stuff like that. And I really feel like, I mean, I agree with him. I mean, I saw a lot of people go into DF and we didn't know who they were. They came out and they got 500,000 subs on their way to a million trending up. I didn't really see anybody go in there and not make the best of it. Shoot, even when Chalk went in, he was in there for like three months and it, and it helped him. Like it's helped everybody that it was. So I really don't got no issue um, with it. I just think that you know, you just gotta learn from your mistakes, do things a little bit different way. And you know people gonna join because people know what, what come with being in DF. They gonna, they gonna join, so you know it is what it is, man. Last but not least, we got my boy Yad in mind. He says, ever since I used my 6'3 guard, the 6'9 ain't as fun anymore. And I said, shh, we gotta, we gotta let people continue to believe that they're the same speed as the 6'9, man. Look, bro, I'm gonna tell you what. If you ever played against a 6'3 or something, you already know it ain't no, uh, it, 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 it ain't no comparison with that. Up next, last but not least, Community Clips, man. Hey, we got this old man basketball. Big perm, I mean big worm, I mean big perm. He come down court, they hit him. Look at him. Fader, trays up, 
splash down with the little dirty dirt. Why you got the little dirty dirt? I ain't mad at you, my boy. Up next, we got oh yeah, we got uh Gabe call my number. Ooh, ooh, ooh baby. Doom, 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 doom. You can call my number, number. Yeah, boy, he said it's at the end, boy. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about right here when you say call your number or for the money. Look, the game is tied, so it really ain't no pressure, but at the same time, look at this. Step through, step back, mid-range. Yes, that's that mini magician at work. I don't know if you got mini magician. I just said that. And last but not least, Laker fans, though, he says this goof-ass inbound got to stop to you. Bro, what if this happened to you? We do this right here. And then dude just straight pull. You ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Boy, I know he's sick on that, man. Anyway, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you made it this far, put jump shot at the end of your comment. You will be entered um, in the contest that we have in this month. We're going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away, like I said, a... A fifty dollar gift card of Cash App or whatever you want tomorrow if you win, and then at the end of the month we're gonna be giving away a next gen console that we can continue to average this 10k views. We are doing it, so get the likes up, get the likes up, like the video right now. It don't even cost you that. Just hit the like button and comment down below, and you can win some stuff tomorrow. Uh, like I said, man, I ain't got no opinion on steals. Y'all can do it over. I, I, I'm still saying leave the game how it is. Last year I said y'all can do what y'all want to and we'll adjust. And I let y'all, I let y'all just ruin the game for me. I'm not doing that this year. Y'all want to cry? I'm going to keep on standing on my soapbox and saying what I'm saying. You say what you say. I'm going to say what I say. I'm going to live my life. You live yours. And then we're just going to see who Mike listen to and go out on top. Because I'm not doing it this year. You're. I'm not going to allow you to ruin the game for me again. I didn't even play the game after they after they toned down the steals and completely abolished them last year. I sat by idly and I was still the same person. I still had a 93 win percent on, on Xbox and PlayStation, but it, it really ruined the game for everybody. And that's because you got a select few number of people that can't see past their own egos and, and they gotta they have to feel like I'm still uh, I'm still superior and be like oh man he shouldn't be stealing the ball from me because he's trash well what's the end what's the indicating factor that he's trash i mean he hit the button at the right time let that man get some y'all already done took the took the they already can't hit whites they already can't dribble the ball the y'all done baited them into making six nines and they and their ass y'all done already done all of that now y'all don't want them to be able to steal the ball y'all don't want nobody to be able to do shit on you huh like, come on, man. Let them boys, let these, let these bums live a little bit, bro. Because I'm going to tell you what. I got interior. I got steel and all of that stuff. It don't matter to me. You're not scoring on us at a high clip. I got a 95 win percent, bro. It is what it is. I don't care what they do. We going to figure it out. Because y'all ain't going to do them a rim run. We going to stop y'all at the rim anyway, man. But, like I said, I'm not about to let you. I'm not about to let you just ruin the game for me again this year. I'm not about to do it, man. I'm going to keep standing on my soapbox. Y'all stand on yours. Y'all stand, I stand on mine. We can agree to disagree. And uh, we just going to see who come out on top, man. Hey, I salute to all of y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. We can figure the game out. I just, it's just, it's a new game. Who, who would have ever thought that you would have to adjust to something new? I don't know. But hey, anyway, hopefully y'all guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, please, guys, please.